I speak frequently about the architectural flexibility and scalability of TwinSafe. Logic in all devices means coordinated safety can be implemented in multi-zone integrated machinery systems easily. But TwinCat and TwinSafe aren't just about those large complex machines. Let's take a look at programming an EP1957 in standalone mode without any connection to an EtherCAT network. On the hardware, I have eight paired inputs, four outputs, two power in and out, and two EtherCAT ports. If this were part of an EtherCAT network, I would set the safety address with the dials on the back. We're going to ignore them. If you've not used the NIC on your PC to speak directly to I.O., make sure you install the TwinCAT real-time Ethernet adapter and make sure the real-time Ethernet filter driver is active. I have my EP1957 here connected directly to my laptop via an EtherCAT cable. To get started, I make sure that my target system is set to local. Add an EtherCAT master and scan. You can see the I.O. tree populates with my EP1957. I can add my safety project now. New item, pre-configured inputs, Now set my target system to the EP1957, choose it from the I.O. tree, see my dip switches for my safe address are set to zero, we're not actually part of an EtherCAT network or FSOE so we don't care, and save. Now my twin save group under alias devices. Add new item, safety, EtherCAT, back off automation, EP1957, and add. Open it up and change my linking from automatic to local. Since we're using the logic on board, there is no master relationship to the I.O. Now we can go ahead and build up our TwinSafe project. Now I have a fully functional standalone EP1957 using three outputs, an input each for the selector switch and the reset button, and two inputs off of the emergency stop. If you liked this video, please consider liking, sharing, and following. Thank you.